So I just wanted to share a quick video um, on, you know, it's not going to be that quick because let's be real. I talk too much, but anyway, hopefully I'll keep this under five minutes or less. But um, I wanted to share a video about um, how I use Oracle cards or sort of guidance from the universe. And if you're not sure what I mean by that, um, I have uh, another video where I talk about it a little bit. Basically what guidance from the universe means to me is that sometimes things just happen that are unexplainable. And the way that I explain it to myself is that there is this higher power or higher energy um, some people would call that God. Some people would call that a supreme being. Some people would call it cosmic energy. I don't know. You can call it whatever you want. Um, for me, um, it is really just about understanding and connecting with um, like sometimes like I guess with connecting with your inner intuition, but also with like the intuition from everybody that everybody puts out there. And this I've sort of dabbled with this for a while um, with like Oracle cards and I've sort of been like pulled towards them, but I really got into them a lot more through working with a woman named Joanna Hans um, Hennen, who runs Joanna Hennen, who runs a group called the soul space. And um, Joanna started um, when I joined Joanna's group, she pulls a card every week and I started seeing how like these messages that were coming from the cards were like exactly what I needed to hear in a given moment. So I actually think um, of these, cards as almost like a slap in the face when like, the overwhelm is coming in or when there's a problem and you're not really sure how to solve it. Like you actually do know how to solve it. You just, that energy um, is going through kind of such a, it's like a tornado and it's, you need to kind of step back so that you can look at the whole big picture. And so the, the cards or whatever it is that, um, that I use is sort of like that slap of like, or the shake, like stop being so crazy and just like focus. Okay, calm down. We got this. Um, and so I use cards in a different way and um, I have a bunch of different decks, but just like I said, um, and there's lots of different ways to use them and lots of really great videos out there explaining how to use them. Um, so the way that, I, the idea is to ask the, the cards a question, right? And so um, this is just a deck called the Mother's Wisdom deck. But like I said, I, I use others and you might have seen others if you follow me. Um, but you just ask a question and it can't be like a yes and no question. Um, and it's really more of just like a guidance question. Like, what do I need to know about this situation? Um, and you really sort of think about what that situation is. And then you pull, simply pull a card. And like I said, this is sort of the simplest way to do it. There's lots of different ways, but you just pull a card and then that card uh, is going to give you a message that will is sort of what the, the universe wants you to know about what you need to know to solve that um, that or to guide you to solving that problem for yourself. And so most uh, decks will come with a guidebook uh, that helps to interpret what that card is. Um, and yeah, so that's the way that I use cards. But what I um, what I also realized is that I actually do this uh, with a lot of the self help books that I have. So this is just an example of one of the self help books on um, the Woman's Book of Courage, and like in the Woman's Book of Courage, um, or like I have a bunch, like I said, a bunch of different self help books. Um, like each page or each chapter is filled with a lot of sort of like intense thought and. Um, and ideas that can help guide you as well. So uh, what I noticed was that I really struggled to start with myself with self-help books on page one in chapter one and read to the end. Um, it was almost like too much information and I, I tend to read before bed and I was actually not falling asleep easily and then kind of having these crazy dreams because my brain was like sort of on overload processing all of these this new information that I was learning. And so what I started to do, and it works really well with this book because the chapters are so short, um, it's really just sort of affirmations uh, and a little description of the affirmation, is to just open to a random page. And it's like, oh, that's the message that the universe wants me to hear right now, like the message that's on that page. And so it's a way that you can use um, kind of whatever you have around the house uh, as 
um, a way to channel, if you will, different messages that you need to hear in the moment. So those are two different ways, Oracle cards and self-help books that I use to kind of channel messages for myself to help guide me. Um, I also use them to channel messages or um, I pull cards or pick a page in the book to with my um, with my clients and with the people who follow me to help um, sort of guide all of us collectively. Uh, if you have any questions or if you have anything you want to um, share about this experience, I would love to hear from you. Feel free to put a comment um, or to connect via Facebook or email. Um, all the information is below. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.